horse do bird feathers serve on Native American arrows? It's B. The feathers balance the weight of the arrowhead, allowing the arrow itself to spin in flight and produce an ideal trajectory. It's a hobby that Randy Moon Mullins and his wife Irene began as newlyweds. Half a century later, they've collected a quarter of a million Indian arrowheads from all across America. They're looking at the largest privately owned collection east of Mississippi. I mean, it's amazing. The couple display their finest relics in a makeshift museum in their Hickory, North Carolina home. The Boy Scout groups, church people come in and see the white collected. It was an honor. Inevitably, word of the collection spreads well beyond Hickory. Moon and Irene had an opportunity to sell this exhibit to John Wayne. Excuse me? John Wayne came to look at the exhibit? Yeah. But Moon asked him, would you keep it all together? He says no, and Moon wouldn't sell it to him because he knew it was going to be split up. According to Underwood, the Dukes wasn't the last offer Moon received. One was for half a million bucks. He turned down $500,000? Yes. That sounds perfectly 